Hello, everyone. I'm Tatsuro Ota from the Database Center for Life Science. Today, I'm going to talk about Sapporo and the implementation of the GF4GH workflow execution service. Before starting my talk, I would like to thank all who support this project, especially Hero, the main developer of the project. And I would like to thank the organizers of this task for giving me this great opportunity. It is really a shame I can't meet you in person again this year, but I hope we can have a big party next year. Okay, so let's start with the background. This is Bosque, and you may know there are many data analysis workloads published and shared as open source. So you can use any of them, but you may need to do something before you run it. You need to install a workload runner. You need to connect a runner with your computing cluster. You need to edit the input parameters to put your data and workload. And you may need to edit the workload itself for your purpose. If you are familiar with the language, this will be very easy. But the problem is that there are many workload languages out there. If you find a workload you want to use, but if it was written in a language you are not familiar with, what do you do? This is the problem we had. So we had to make a solution. We have been developing Sapporo, which is an implementation of the GF4GH WES standard. WES is something like workflow as a service where you can post a request to run a workflow. The current version of Sapporo supports multiple workflow runners, including Cdevil Tool, Nextflow, Cromwell, and SnakeMake. This is a diagram of the inside of Sapporo. Sapporo has a browser-based GUI, which is called Sapporo Web. It is implemented as a JavaScript single page application and hosted on GitHub pages. Once you register a WES endpoint on GUI, you can send a request to the API layer, which is called Sapporo service. The service runs a workflow runner and the runner runs the tools of the workflow. All these components run in Docker containers that you can easily deploy with Docker Compose. This is the screenshot of the Sapporo web. Here you can see the endpoint that supports multiple runners and you can register a workload in any of the languages. By using Sapporo, you can run a workload of different languages in the same place, same interface. So all the problems are solved? Of course not. Now we do support the installation and deployment of runners. We do provide REST API as a common interface of different languages. But yet, we have issues in parameter setting because languages have different ways to specify the parameters. We also have issues on file dependencies because some languages expect a file with relative file path. There are more small issues on developing WES for multiple languages and we want to fix them but we can't by ourselves. So here, I would like to give some requests 
to the communities for better workload sharing. When you write and share a workload, please mind your workload is valuable and everyone wants to use it. Follow the language's best practice and please avoid implicit requirements such as local dependencies and the workload should be self-contained. File dependencies must be resolved by remote URLs. Otherwise, one needs to attach many files to the post request. And sharing your workload with example data would be really, really, really helpful to understand your workload. When you develop a workload language, of course you can, and or you are a maintainer of an existing workload language. Sometimes it's really hard to inspect the given workload definition to extract the, the required input parameters or such kind of the information. So please provide a command line inspector, which takes the definition file as input and returns the input parameter scheme. Ideally, input parameters should be represented as structured data with type annotation. And also, it will be a good idea to have an option to pass the input parameters via JSON or YAML file. And that's all. Thank you for watching and welcome any comments or suggestions.